Hey everybody, today's video is going to be strictly for beginners. I wanted to cover a lot of the different sign-up processes for different websites like Coinbase, BlockFi, Gemini, and others to help those that are new to investing. So if you're a regular subscriber, you can go ahead and skip this video. I've got some other really cool videos coming out in the coming days, so stay tuned for those. But today's video is going to cover how to sign up with Coinbase so you can buy your first $100 in Bitcoin or Ethereum or any of the other coins or tokens that you've heard of, like, like Shiba Inu. So the first thing you're going to want to do is on your computer or your mobile device you'll go to coinbase.com and for your convenience I put a link down in the YouTube description for you that link is my referral link so if you do sign up and you do deposit some money I will get a small commission but it's at no extra cost to you so just keep that in mind when you click on the link it'll take you to this page and this is where you'll enter your first name last name email password the state and a promo code but that's optional and then after you read the user agreement and privacy policy you're gonna check this box and this will become clickable you will click create account So if you're seeing this page, that means you click the sign up button directly from coinbase.com and you did not click on my link. My link would show you that you would be getting $10 in free Bitcoin once you deposited $100 in your account. But if you don't want to deposit anything, you will still receive $5 in Bitcoin after you verify your photo ID. So keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and click continue. Now you'll want to check your email for the verification link. You'll click that. I'll show you what that looks like right now. The email will look something like this. Verify your email address. You're going to click verify email address and it will take you to Coinbase. And here you will enter your phone number in order for them to send you a verification code. So let's go ahead and check our phone for that verification number. And then we will add that verification code right here. Click on submit. Next, you'll select your citizenship. I'm in the United States, so I'll click that. But if you're outside of the United States, there are plenty of different countries to select from. Click on submit. This step is to verify your identity. Financial regulations require Coinbase to verify your identity. I'm assuming that's for tax purposes, but in doing this, it also protects your account and keeps it secure. Now, while this option to verify your information, really, it says it's required, you don't have to tell the truth here. You don't need to tell them how much you expect to trade per year. So you could literally say $2,000. You could say a million dollars or more. It really doesn't matter here. And then you'll select what industry you're in and then you'll click on submit. It will tell you to verify your account now, but because I already have another Coinbase account, I'm not gonna go through this process. Let's go ahead and click on the Coinbase icon in the upper left hand corner, and now you will see this is your Coinbase dashboard. This is where you will start to trade cryptocurrency. The first thing I wanna show you how to do though is to connect a bank account. So let's come up here and click on buy slash sell, and in order to do that, you have to add a payment method. So let's click that button, and you have four different options, bank account, PayPal, debit card, wire transfers. So choose whatever makes sense to you. I'm going to connect a bank account. So I'm gonna click this area right here and Coinbase will say it's talking to a site called Plaid. So we will click continue and then let's search for our bank account. I have Ally Bank, so I've got that. And now I need to log in to Ally Bank using my username and password. It is secure, so you have nothing to worry about. They don't save that information. Now, in order to verify my identity connecting Plaid to my bank account, I need to receive a text message because that's what I have set up on my bank account side to confirm my identity. I'll select text and click on continue. And now I'll type in the code that I got on my phone and click on submit. Next, I'm gonna choose my bank account click on continue and it says it's being verified it'll take up to 30 seconds so not a problem let's go ahead and close out these windows and let's refresh the page okay it's been linked successfully so now we can come up here to buy sell again now that we have our bank account selected and added we can say how much Bitcoin we want to buy now if you don't want to buy Bitcoin you can come down here under buy click on Bitcoin and you can choose from any of these different coins and tokens but for this case let's go ahead keep Bitcoin selected and we are going to deposit $100 now if you remember me saying back when the video started if you clicked on my link and you deposited $100 you would get an additional $10 in Bitcoin if you didn't click on the link no worries depositing $100 here will not give you an extra ten dollars so keep that in mind you can set this up as a weekly buy by checking yes 
If you click the button that said yes, make it a weekly buy, and then you said no, I don't want to do that, you can go ahead and click this back arrow and click here to select how often you want to make this purchase. For today's video, we will do a one-time purchase. Select on $100, if all the fees look good, then you'll go ahead and click buy now. Now I won't buy it right now because I'm going to go ahead and log into my other Coinbase account, show you what to do next. The one thing I wanted to show you before we do anything else is that after you buy Bitcoin or whatever coin that you purchased, it will show up here under your assets. If you came to this home screen and you're thinking, well, I don't see my assets here, you can come over here and click this button to show all of your assets. And assuming you bought Bitcoin or another coin, it would show up right here. As you can see, I've got $25 in Bitcoin. And when you first click on it, it will take you to your wallet. And lastly, before I close this video, let's head back up to the Coinbase icon and click on it. And over here on the right hand side, you should see a learn and earn section. Yours will say zero earned. But if you want to start earning some free cryptocurrency right now, kind of get your feet wet and learn a little bit about these different projects, you can go ahead and click on this button here. And you should see, if you scroll down, a couple of different ways for you to earn cryptocurrency right now. These quizzes are simple, they're easy, they are free. And if you guess wrong three out of the four times, it's not a problem. Just guess the correct answer on the fourth try and you will earn whatever it is promising you. And as you can see, I have earned quite a bit of money using these different quizzes. And that basically sums it up. That is the beginning steps to create a Coinbase account. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will be covering other cryptocurrency exchanges, how to sign up, how to make the most of your account, and I will make sure that you are covered and that you know how to do everything so that you can be confident in investing cryptocurrency because I will be honest, there are a lot of scams out there, a lot of people trying to steal your money, and if you can learn the basics right now, you will set yourself up for the future and you will be less likely to be involved in those scams and lose a lot of money. So hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video.